Tesla just slashed its full self-driving subscription by a whopping 50%, dropping from $199 down to $99 a month. So are you ready to hit the subscribe button or are you still hitting the brakes? Tesla has given some drivers a month of free FSD. And I say some drivers because we haven't received it yet. I'm not sure who gets it, who doesn't, but when the announcement first came out, it said every Tesla owner will get a free month of FSD. This might be a staggered free release, just like they do with all their other software updates. Only time will tell. From Tesla's perspective, their strategy seems really smart. By encouraging more Tesla owners to try out full self-driving, they're not only collecting more data points, which helps speed up the development toward near perfection, but also boosting their revenue. Dropping the price is a clever move to get more subscribers on board. It's a win-win. Not sure if this price change is going to hold or if it's just bait to get you to get FSD. However, at $99, it's definitely better than paying $199 a month. I'm also not sure if you have to lock in for a period of time, like six months or a full year to snag that price. Or is it flexible enough to let you go month to month? It is still a better deal than paying $12,000 outright. If you do the math, it'll take you over 10 years to break even. Elon at one point said that the software alone for FSD is worth over $100,000 per car and that the price that they're charging now is only going to go up. Yet, they've done the opposite, offering everyone a free month and even dropping the subscription price. It seems a bit contradictory, right? My guess is that Tesla has taken these steps to accelerate the progress towards fully autonomous driving. They probably need more data and user feedback to refine the technology faster. We have yet to see if the price is changing for enhanced autopilot customers. Right now, it looks like FSD is $100 for everyone. So even if you purchase enhanced autopilot, there is no discount on the subscription like in the past. With all that being said, I personally don't think it's worth it yet, at least not for us. We used full self-driving when we first got the car and we did not have the best experience with it. It would do some weird things both on the freeway and city driving. Granted that was with version 11 and now we're on to version 12. Our Tesla is still on FSD version 11, so I'm not entirely sure if it'll be upgraded to version 12 or how that transition happens. We've set our software update preferences to advanced, but it seems like Tesla rolls out these updates pretty randomly or at least that's how it appears. There doesn't seem to be a clear pattern to when and how these updates are distributed. I do know the main reason Tesla releases updates this way is to minimize risks and closely monitor how each update performs once it's out in the wild. Either way, it seems like Tesla is really pushing to get more people on board with full self-driving. It looks like they're trying to accelerate the development by expanding the user base as much as they can. I wouldn't call this a desperation move, but it does seem like Tesla is a little behind on their goals. Offering a free month and lowering the price really does make sense to me. It's a great way to draw in more users, gather more data, and really speed up the development. Now, I'm not sure if that's exactly what they're aiming for, but that's my take on it. At the current price of $99 a month, with the flexibility to go month to month, I'd say it's worth considering, especially if you're planning a long road trip where it might come in handy and it performs well where you live. However, if it's $99 a month with a year long commitment, personally, I don't think it's worth it for a couple of reasons. First, I actually enjoy driving the car. And second, when we tried it, the performance wasn't great, both on freeways and city streets. We experienced some risky behaviors like sudden stops and improper lane changes for turns. Now, maybe version 12 has improved significantly, I don't know. If Tesla offers us the free month trial, I'd definitely be more inclined to give it another go. It would be a great chance to see if version 12 really is a step up from what we experienced with version 11. I know some people absolutely love full self-driving and swear by it, but based on our experiences, it just didn't meet our expectations. Would I give it another shot? Absolutely especially if there's another chance to give another try without any commitment. So what do you think? Have you gotten the free month of FSD? Is it that much better? And at $99 a month, do you think it's worth it? Let me know in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching. And like always, keep on living a modern lifestyle through technology. See you in the next one. Fade to black.